everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a gloomy day again. I had paid for school. They are sending the kids to school, so Kyle was at school. He goes Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday they'll be with me because they have to clean the school. And Paige will start next week. She will go to school Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and she'll be here just Wednesday. So I will have them. But today was a oh excuse me. Today was a good day because I had just one student and one student makes it a whole lot better. She goofed around a bit. In fact, she came in here because I was looking for the book that showed where because we were talking about writing and I says, You have to write your own stuff because my words are too big for your for you to know what I'm saying because you don't understand a lot of them. And I had said something, and she, I said, do you know what that means? She goes, no. And I said, see, that's why you have to write your own stuff. I can't write it for you. And I said, I used to write for the Foster Parent Association handbook. And so I was going to show her where what I had written, because I had done on the buddy on the buddy system. or uh, There was a thing where you had a buddy, and I was a buddy. And then there was another one where I, about the association, of um, joining the association for a support group. It was a support group. And I wrote on that, and I also used to do the Father's Day cards. And before I forget, Happy Suspender Day. It's <laughs> <laughs> National Suspender yes. Day. If you have, says, I don't have a pair of suspenders, but I do have a scarf on. This is that scarf that was out of that funny material, funny yarn. But anyways, it's National Suspender Day, so if you have suspenders, you should be wearing them today. Today is a good day for suspenders. Um, I was thinking of something, and when I got off track, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, writing? Writing, yeah. Uh, oh, she was, we were mentioning things, and she said something about a video, and I says, you mean a camcorder? And she goes, camcorder? What's that? And I said, oh, let me show you, and so I showed her one of the old camcorders. And I said, I even have old another one, but it's in a container, and then I have an older one yet. But she had no idea what a camcorder was. And then Jim and I got talking about, I bet you they don't know. She didn't know the machine behind me. I had a question. Somebody asked me what that was. That's a copy machine. She didn't know what a copy machine was either, to be honest. She just never really thought about it, I guess. She doesn't know what an overhead projector is, because in school we had overhead projectors. They get movies. And they get real, really nice movies. We had the real to real um, film strips. <laughs> we had. Super 8. Yeah. And um, they don't know what a mimeograph machine is or a data processing, what that was when you had the data processing cards that you would put into the machine. They, didn't, they have no idea what that stuff is. They didn't know what a, a real to real um, cassette, like a tape to tape. Audio, audio tape. tape. It was reel to reel, and then it went to cassette, and to the to the Actually, eight, track. The eight track, and, and then, then cassette. the cassette. Well, eight track didn't last. I never even had an eight track until you had an eight track, but I didn't have an eight track. I just had cassettes and a radio, <laughs> <laughs> and I had the radio that had the little ear thing that you could put in, and you had to be standing just in a certain way to get the. Hopefully, the radio wave would hit it so that you could get it. They weren't real good radios. AM only back of that. Time. Yeah, AM. Now, FM comes in a lot better on, yes. on a lot of the radios. Because I still use the antenna on the radio because that's what I have. I have an old radio. Um, I'm going to put a couple videos in. Forgot what. One was one of them. Oh, Little Lady. One is Little Lady. Let's go to Little Lady's video. Little Lady can now fly. She's up on top of the railing. I'll open the door and hopefully she stays put. I don't know if she will. Jake, stay. Hi, little lady. Is she gonna go down? Hello, little lady. Look at you. You're doing so good. Oh, there she goes. She, she flew down. Wow, you're doing so good. She is doing remarkably well. Can you believe she's actually flying now? That I never expected, to be honest. And now we'll go to Mr. Brown's video of him getting a treat. 
Okay, one more time. All done, all done, all done, all done. <laughs> Is that going to come back, Mr. Brown? It's all done. All done. <laughs> He's still trying. Said that worked before. It should work again. Hmm. All done. Did you see him stare at me? He was just staring. He did that pretend like I rang the I did I rang it. Didn't you hear it? And then he stares at me, waiting for me to give him his treat. And then he decides, oh, well, it must be she won't give it to me. So he tapped it again. And then when I tell him it's all done, he still keeps tapping because he thinks it's going to come back. It's not going to come back until I sit in the chair. I have to sit in the chair. Otherwise, there's no treat. I also wanted to share, but I'll have Jim read it because he reads better than I do. I get excited and then I don't see the words as I'm supposed to see them. And I, so he'll do much better. But this is about the toilet paper. I had pinned this one comment and when I went back to copy it, I noticed that there's five comments besides my comment on that comment. And it was, it was about what a mess the toilet paper. It was a video that I did October 16th. I will put that into the maybe the end card so or, and I'll put a little link to it so you can find it because it was a good video where Mr. Brown was being very naughty but I love the comment that was in it here you go Jim you can read you can listen we're gonna okay. listen okay this is first comment was from Tennessee Rides uh, he says ah that is why so many selfish and greedy people were buying up all the toilet paper they had indoor chickens. Ha <laughs> ha. We have a bunch of chickens and ducks. None of them are allowed in the house. We have an agreement. I don't poop in their coop, and they don't get to come inside my house and poop either. Same agreement with the ducks. I don't go hang out in the duck house, and they can't hang out in mine either. Ha <laughs> ha. I forgot about that. what that kind of chicken is called, but we had some of them in the past. Then Lily Gazoo, I knew it was the poultry committing crimes. Then Tennessee rides again. Um, I'm Lily Gazoo's. Ha ha ha. I can hear the headlines now. The poop hit the fan today when four Rhode Island Reds were caught stealing a case of toilet tissue from the local Walmart. In other news, two white leghorns were arrested after a scuffle with employees at the area's new Target. 
when they were stopped at the door trying to steal several packages of paper towels. <laughs> and from Nona Grace, then I wrote. This is really interesting, interesting writing. I love the comment. I will have to try to remember to share this. Sounds like great storyline. And Tennessee Rides, uh, laughs at Nona Grace. And then Jane Patrick writes, International gangster hens cleared the toilet roll shelves in Tesco's in London earlier this week. When arrested, they said they needed supplies for a young rooster friend in western New York. <laughs> I just love this. It was, you know, um, Emmy has been writing stuff, and it sounds like a uh, could be a storyline, like a movie. Like these, this is great. I just love it. I just love reading these comments. And you guys have such an imaginations, and you did an excellent job reading it. You really did. Thank I you. get a little excited, and then I get tongue tied, and then I don't read very well, and then it's like, oh, and. In fact, Paige was saying, that's not what it says. And I says, I know, honey, my one eye doesn't work very good. My right eye, I don't see very good right now. When I get my new glasses, I should be able to read better. But I still see words. In fact, Jim laughs because the billboard outside, it, whenever they put a new sign on, I read it. And I read what I think real fast. And it's never what it says. Because I, I say what I think the word should be. Because if you've ever done those tests where you see the word where there's no no vowels in it, you can read it. At least I can read it. Most I, people can. Yeah, and you you you're in your brain. It it deciphers what the word should be. It isn't always what it's supposed to be, but it it deciphers it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I hope you enjoyed the little videos that I've put in. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye bye.